<laughs> yes, I am DMing this session. I am your god now. No longer <laughs> is it lying. You shall praise me. He has seen Praise the, the one true god. He has praise seated, me. He has ceded the throne for one session. This is my throne now, and I shall never let it go. Right. Okay, so take me through T and T. T. Just sounds like the British version of D&D, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. T and T. First you get the stomps. <laughs> no, T and T is a fantastic and very old, I think that it's over 35 years old now. Holy balls. Yeah, uh, role-playing system. It's I think that it's about as old as Dungeons and Dragons. If not, it's one of the predecessors. I think Dungeons and Dragons is somewhere in the late nineteen sixties, early seventies. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> You're looking it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, first published in nineteen seventy-four. Tunnels and Trolls. Um. Doesn't even say 1975. Yeah, so Ooh, around about the same time. So close. Yeah, so it's 40 years old now. Um, they're still making new editions of it as well. Like the eighth edition is going to be coming out very soon, I think. Okay. Which edition are we playing for anyone who does? We are playing 7.5. Okay. Um. So the latest is, then, pretty much. I assume. Well, it's, it's it's one of the latest. It's a really good one though. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's get uh, Creighton then. I do have the uh, PDF open of the rulebook, so... Okay, so basically, to um, to generate each stat, you need to roll 3d6, right. okay? Let's do that then. And the way that I do it is, you do eight of these 3d6 rolls, and then you can allocate them as you wish into each stat. Okay, hang on. Okay, so I roll 3d6 and I roll that eight times. Yeah. Yeah, so you get eight results. That's not how that works. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so my first score if is 96. To, if, if you wanted to, you could take that and equally distribute it between your things. That was no, a pretty... it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. How do you do it to go roll it that eight times? Um, You just press oh, slash just... roll 3d6 and then you press up and enter. A I'm few times. Yeah, fine. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah. Six, six was it, sorry? Eight. Seven, eight. A lot of elevens in there. Okay, well, elevens aren't bad. Um, you don't really have any outstanding ones apart from that 13, which that is, is quite nice. That is very you true to my real self. You get modified, though, if you become a no, another race. You know, humans are just exactly the base scores when you can get stuff like gob uh, like dwarves with double I can't speak you get dwarves that double their strength and constitution and stuff but um they get like bad stuff to agility and dexterity and stuff yeah okay so hang on I've got 10 11 sorry 11 10 11 9, nine. 13 8 11 and 8 13 8 11 and 8 okay it's alright, I assume. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if you'd managed to get above 12 in every single stat, or 12 or above, then you could have become a Paragon, which, as I explained before, is basically the warrior wizard, the absolute hero, the person who's attractive and popular and, you know, the dicks in high school and stuff. Well, I mean, but... we're staying realistic here, so I'm not going that <laughs> way. Staying realistic? You have not played Tunnels and Trolls. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas and Trolls is nowhere near realistic. It's fantasy for fantasy's sake. Okay, so we've got my skills. Now what? Okay, my so goals. you get to decide what you want to allocate them in. Now, there are three kind of base um, classes. I do have advanced ones as well, but I mean, I wouldn't really bother going with them if it's your first character. For, the, for, for TNT, yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, you do have like specialist characters. Such as you can get, um, let's see, you've got like the Brute, the Defender, but um, they all need like a score of a stat of 15 or higher or something. So, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah, right. they're like gifted and talented people. <laughs> no, not for me, then, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're too <laughs> mediocre, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, okay. um, the character types there are four character types that you can go for. So you can have a citizen. Nobody wants to be a citizen. 
You can have a rogue, a warrior, and a wizard. There are other ones who are, you know, kind of people who've gotten... I can not... see specialist mage, specialist ranger, leader, Yeah, paragon. specialist mage, yeah, those kinds of people. Like, they're people who've gotten a higher kind of points in, you know, creation. They're kind of specialist class as well. So specialists is when you get 15 or higher on the wizardry attribute. Okay. Um, um, what was lying again? What was his... Character. Mine was a wizard, I believe. He's a wizard, right, okay. A wizard! A wizard. Okay, let's have a look. Page 12. Let's have a look at Warrior. Why is it not a fire? Blah, blah, blah. Shouldn't they have taken by. Alright, so what does. Okay, so they do each class. Do each of the character types get a specific bonus to anything, or. Um, I mean, yeah, basically. Um,. Let me put it this way. So citizens, they don't have any uh, uh, efficiency in armor or weapons. Um, they're just shit. If you, play, <laughs> if, if you want to, you can play a citizen. And if you're a giant, then you have to play a citizen. But they don't have bonuses like the other ones. So first things first, we've got rogue. Um, basically, they've got like... Uh, usually they've got like high luck store, uh, scores. Doesn't necessarily mean thief. Um, it's actually short for Rogue Wizard, right? So they have like a few spells. Um, they've also got access to some weapons. Um, and But they don't have access to like all armor and all weapons. Right. right? Um, so they can use both weapons and magic, but get no special advantages in either. That's it. So they can use weapons and magic but they don't get any special advantages. So the difference between a rogue and a paragon is that the paragon gets both the advantages. Okay, and uh, warrior? Well, just need to say, um, all rogues start with a basic uh, roguery talent. However, I don't do talent, so that's shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Warriors are natural fighters. These are people who, for one reason or another, have conscious access to their natural creme blocked. They can't use magic at all. It's like being co colorblind. So, you know, no matter how much time is spent describing or showing, I'm just describing it here, the colour purple, the colour blind person can't see it. No matter how much time is spent teaching magic to a warrior, the warrior cannot do magic. Um, basically, they're trained in all weapons, right? Um, I'm just trying to find it. Warrior bonus, here it is. Um, they can be proficient with any weapon they choose, right? Um, right? And the warrior bonus gives every warrior a little extra damage based on his character level. Right. So you get to increase your combat adds by your character level. Right. Okay. Um, decided warrior. Going warrior. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. You also get an armor bonus as well. Right. Um, you get double the armor points from stuff. Hey. Yeah. So you are the tank, basically. Yeah. Pretty much. To be honest, I was put, considering you're a wizard, I was pretty much going to. It was already decided I was going to be a warrior. Unless no. Rogue ended up being amazing, so... I mean, if you want to be a real tank, I would recommend going um, the Kindred of Dwarf. Well, let, let's, see, let's see what's next. So, we've picked, we've, we've rolled my stats, we've got what well, I am, a warrior, so what's next? Uh, your race. <laughs> right, okay, so what races are there? So, um, you've got the Common Kindred, which are Human, uh, one times on everything, Dwarf, Elf, Fairy, Hob, and Leprechaun. Um, leprechauns can only be wizards, so you don't really have access to them. Um, so you can choose to be either a dwarf, an elf, a fairy, or a hob. Now, dwarves get times two on strength and times two on constitution, so anything that you've rolled, such as that 13, if you put that onto um, like strength or constitution, that would become a 26. Right. Which is really, really good. Constitution is your hit points, so 26 hit points with armor as well is very nice. Right? right. If it's on your strength, if you want to like do a you know saving throw, if you want to like check check against something, and um, say it's like a level one or a level two where you need to get 20 or 25, you'll automatically pass it unless you roll like a one and a two, which is the instant fail. Okay. So that's been very beneficial to a warrior. Is what I'm going to say. So if I want to min max, it's a warrior. It's not a min max. Dwarf, pretty much. It's a dwarf. Right. Um, they get a, um, they get a deduction of a third from their luck and their height, though. 
right. and their weight is times by two. But I don't really worry about height and weight, to truth be told. You can just decide how tall and how fat or how muscular <laughs> your character is, you know? Right. This, is, this is me in charge. Fuck the rules, I do it my own way. Right. So who are the <laughs> other actual eligibles for, for okay. a warrior? So you can go as an elf who takes um, a third hit on their con. So a third of their constitution is gone. <laughs> um, they've got 1.5 times on int, they've got 1.5 times on luck, and they've got two times on charisma and wizardry. Right, so pointless for this then, pretty much. A, fer a fairy who gets a quarter strength and a quarter constitution, times two on dex, times two on luck, times two on charisma, times two on wizardry. <laughs> oh god. Or you could be a hob who gets half their strength, two times on constitution, 1.5 times on dex and 1.5 times on luck. I, it has uh, to be it has to be dual for us. The other ones are just pointless. I mean, Hob is you know, Hob is all right for going. Uh, that's a Hobbit, by the way. <laughs> no. Hobbit is all right for going warrior. Actually, like they're not too bad. The only uh, thing that's kind of like screwed over is their strength. However, it's kind of given back in dexterity and luck um, to their combat adds. So. Uh, no, it's okay. I'll go with the dwarf. That's fine. Okay, so apply those modifiers to wherever you're applying them in your thing. I'm going to say wizardry is useless to you, so I'd put one of your eights on that. Okay, so, okay, hold on a second, so let's see how this works. Um, okay, so basically with the numbers that I'm seeing right here, I just do yeah. that times. So, like, if I yeah. put my strength... If you put your strength as 13, it would become 26. If you put your constitution as 11, um, it would become 22. Okay, yeah, I get that. Those like the best ones that you can put into okay, that. Okay, so strength I'll put as 13 then. So, change it to 26. Okay, so 26 strength. Which uh, is... Which is what, sorry? Which is very good. Right. Oh, well, wait, when I'm generating... Actually, I should probably check this out just in case. Right. You didn't roll any triples, did you? Triples? Uh, three elevens. No, I mean like in the actual dice rolls. No, you oh. didn't. Yeah, like a four, if, four, 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 six, like six, 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 that kind of four, thing. Four, uh, there's a rule which is triples add and roll over. <laughs> <laughs> so in character creation, you can create a character who's got like a stat of one hundred or something, which is just ridiculous. Well, no, it's probably a good job that didn't happen. But uh, okay, so I'll put my con as eleven, so it's twenty-two. Uh, let's see, Dex. Um. Which one's my useless one? Wizardry, wasn't it? Wizardry is completely useless. Uh, int, have... you know, is not particularly useful to you. Yeah, I'll have Int and... Okay, I'll have Int and Wizardry as my eights. So remember, Wizardry is a third of eight, so it'll become six. Okay. And my Int will become a... What? Uh, your Int will stay the same instead of one, so it'll just stay at eight. Right. Okay, so I've got nine, eleven, ten, eleven left. So, yeah. Dex, Dex I'll have as 11. Um, yeah, Dex would be a good one to have as 11. Uh, that stays as like, 11. Like, for, for your strength, Dex, luck, and um, it says speed here. I can't remember if I'm using speed. I don't think I am. <laughs> okay. um, strength, con, Dex, and luck. Oh, so really? I've got three left, so luck, uh, I guess I'll just have that as... Hang on, what have I got left? I've got luck... Charisma. Luck. Luck, charisma, and dexterity, I think. No, dexterity is 11. Dexterity is 11. Yeah. Uh, so then you've got int as 8, luck as 8. No, I haven't got luck. Okay, hold on. Okay. I've got uh, 11 as dex, strength is 26 now, wizardry is 6 now, Twen uh, con is 22. Oh, right. You need to do the speed as well. Uh, okay, which one? This... Which was speed on there? Uh, speed isn't on there, just keep it as 1. Okay, uh, oh, so I just need to pick one of my numbers of speed. Yeah. Uh, how, I guess that's pretty good for me. I'll make that another 11. <laughs> I, I'll just pass you these stats afterwards, by the way. Yeah, no, that's cool. Like, I'll trust you anyways. Okay, so I've got 10 and 9 left. So, 10's going to be, I'll put one of my, okay, so I need luck. Zero points, jeez. Um, well, since yeah, it's so going to be low, I may as well just stick that as my 9. No, if you put it as your 10, then it'll become 7. If you put it as your 9, then it'll become 6. Oh. Luck is quite useful. So okay. I'd... Oh, so, okay, I'll put that on my 10 there, so that becomes 7. Yeah. And i got nine, just 9 left now. So what's my yeah. last... 
put it in your charisma then, I guess. I'm going to be an ugly bugger. Yes, you will, you ugly bugger. So then it's getting equipment. Right. Now, I do believe you start off with some money, but I can't remember how to generate that. All of it. You can have all the monies in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Um, You do 3d6 times 10. Okay, hold on. If you get triples, that's and roll over. 3d6 times 10. Jeez. Okay. Okay, so... Now, I guess equipment, was it? Hopefully you get a... Yeah, hopefully you get a triple. Oh, do I, oh, oh you need me to roll that, right. Okay. Mm. 3d6 times 10, okay. Uh, oh, that's 2d6. God damn it. Roll another d6. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four. Yeah, so that's 80. Into Actually, it does work out. <laughs> yeah, 80 is your uh, gold total at the start. That's pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can uh, only be better than mine, at least. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Maybe that's so, why I'm heading out. I want my money. You've got 80 gold. To... We both got completely broke, and now we're just looking for more money. You've Very got much. 80 gold to spend on equipment. Now, I can't be asked. I never can to put in the factoring costs for like um, bedding and you know all that stuff and food. Truth be told, I just find it a hassle that kind of detracts from my whole experience. So I'm just going to assume you guys are sufficiently skilled enough to be able to you know get food for yourself throughout the time. You're already equipped adventurers who have stuff like torches and backpacks and you know that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, the usual bollocks. Yeah, because um, honestly, who'd go fucking exploring without it? Like, <laughs> Depending right. on the character, me. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, um, so what do I need to... What armor, etc. You probably want to get, like, a sword and um, and some armor. Now, because you've only got, eight, got 80 gold, you don't have much choice. Okay? Um, later on, I will introduce different weapons that are cool and stuff. In all honesty, yeah. I kind of want a two-handed. You want a two-handed? Okay. Yeah, why not? Just for giggles. Well, you might not be able to afford one, but... Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, I might give you the 80 gold to spend on armor, and I'll come up with a two-hand weapon for you. How's that? Well, it's okay, I could just find I could just find one, I guess. I could... No, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll come up with a two-hand weapon for you, like your signature weapon. It's not going to be fantastic, you, you'll probably find stuff that's better than it, but it'll be your kind of like signature weapon. So what kind of weapon would you like to imagine your character wielding? <laughs> oh god, um... I don't know, let's see if... Uh, let's let the chat decide. Let the chat okay. decide! So, chat, what big, hefty, two-handed weapon should Dragon's character be wielding? Well, well, like while, you're wondering, while you're wondering that, Dragon, could you uh, come up with a name? Hmm. Yeah. Let's I would see. like to point out, whilst Andy is just thinking, um... In the past, I have created weapons in this game, such as a chainsaw, right? Now, this is a fantasy a, setting. A, what was it? A wood, power, it's, wood it was, chainsaw? It was a wooden motor winch wind-up um, called release, um, like, wind-up chainsaw, which had metal, like, you know, a metal it, blade. It, it, sound, it sounds like something out of, like, the dwarves of Skyrim, basically, a clockwork chainsaw. Yeah. Yeah, it was like incredible. And, Made of wood. I mean, basically, it was like one or two d6. I can't remember as a regular weapon when it wasn't like in its chainsaw mode, which people would just use as a mace to batter people with. You, you know, you know that a game is going to be good when you have a weapon with something known as a chainsaw mode. Yeah, and um, cheese on that's a somehow, stick. That somehow is that somehow is like a lot better than it just being like a yeah. chainsaw. And to like use it, you had to pull a ripcord. At which point, it would go for a number of rounds. And after that, ra after that amount of rounds was done, you'd have to spend a certain amount of rounds or a certain amount of time if you went in combat, <laughs> winding it back up to be able to use it again. Okay, let's so see. Let's really see. Stating so power. Ga Gas-powered stick is an option. Yeah. Yes. A, a mace made out of ones. <laughs> Cheese on a stick. A big fork. <laughs> if you want to make, it can happen. You're, you're traveling with a wizard and you've got a mace made out of wands. That's just like showing off, if anything. <laughs> so what do you think, Andy, from these uh, suggestions? I don't know. How stupid can I go? 
You can go incredibly. Uh, will it, just, will it actually affect like? Okay, will it actually affect the stats? No, because I'm gonna be coming up with them myself. Oh fuck that! I want a cheese on a stick, and I want the stick to be a fork. You want? Okay, so you want <laughs> cheese? Okay, this is okay. Basically, this is my favorite cheese wheel. I stole it right from a, another campaign that happened to be happening, right? If anyone remembers this, <laughs> the giant cheese wheel. Yeah. Giant cheese wheel. Do you remember? I had it in. A, I ended up having it in a mug. Oh God, yes. <laughs> So I like, found it left in a in a in a port town, left by some adventurers who were run off by a ghost. Um, <laughs> and the stick is a mean? giant fork. This, however, this cheese is so old now; it's hardened, and it's got like a. So it's a bludgeoning front. weapon, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna post a link in chat, right? Do you mean giant forks like these with cheese on them? Let me have a look. Uh, if it's what <laughs> I'm thinking, probably yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. pretty much exactly like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But okay. obviously, oh, obviously yeah. this is this is old year oldie, so you know. Yeah. But it's basically that. Like we, you were, you were just wandering through a town and you like got into a discussion with like a very drunken blacksmith and you basically just dared him to make the biggest like fork he possibly could. Exactly. I found this cheese, stuck it on, and now it's hardened so much that it won't come off. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's like hitting someone with like a pole with so, a bit of concrete so, on the end. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna make this weapon for you, and it's got two different options with it. Right. You can either use it as a, like, mace yeah. to smack people with a hardened cheese. Right. right? A or, sentence that has never been uttered before. <laughs> or you can stab people with it, right, with the ends of a fork. And as a bonus action, you can drag them closer to you. Um, oh, because I had imagined, Stabbed like, the, the whole bludgeoning that would have been cool. But the thought, the thought that I can fork... So that's going to that's gonna be... That, that makes its own jokes. The fact that I oh, can yeah. fork someone... Pull them towards me and headbutt them. Just kind of sounds interesting. Yeah. Um, okay, oh, so... Um, damage of a weapon. Tell you, what, tell you what, hang on a second. Can I have it Can I have it as both, but to switch it around to the other one, I have to give up a turn? No. No, no, no. Oh. You're going to have it as both, but I'm going to make it balanced, right? Right. So, when you're, um, when you're stabbing people with it, because there's not much room, it's not going to deal as much damage. Okay? Right. It's going to do 1d6 plus 4, but as an option, you can drag somebody in closer to you. Okay, so that's in okay. fork mode. That's in fork mode. Right. In mace mode, it does 3d6. 3d6, okay. And as a special option, it also makes the person who's struck by it smell bad. Okay. Um, How's that? <laughs> yeah, that's fine, mate. Andy, have you ever seen the movie Mystery Man? Yes, I have. Blue Raja. Yes, that is exactly. <laughs> I actually, actually <laughs> what? Change the um, change the mace thing to four d six and change the fork to two d six. That's a bit better. Okay, four d six and two d six. Got it. Also, okay. also, my name is Grognor the Pretty. Grognor the Pretty. <laughs> Yes, the okay, so that's your kind of weapon. You'll you'll probably find more weapons as we go along in this adventure. Um, guns do exist in this. <laughs> uh, that's spelled G U N N E S. Okay. And um, they're, they're, they're big things, you know, um, extremely ornate and stuff, and flashy and cool. Right. So, as far as armor goes, you've got eighty gold to spend on it. Right. Now, what I'd usually recommend doing is getting, like, a full suit of armor. Yeah. I, so, yeah. Pretty, rather, I mean, I'm a warrior, so whatever the, the best armor I can buy out yeah, with I'm getting individual bits. However, you might not have enough, enough money for that. Well, um, if, I, so, if I have to skip out on a piece, then that's how it's going to have to be, so... Okay, I'll just find out what can get you the most. Tell you what, can I buy everything but the chest piece? I'll be bare chest. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I was looking at already. <laughs> um... <laughs> Let's see. So, Bracer, that gives you four armor, cost ten. Um, if you got some. Please, if you got for, some the, please, for the love of God, if there's ever going to be a fan art piece, this, <laughs> this, this is where it happens. This moment right Helm, now. Greaves, Bracer, and. Yeah. 
<laughs> Full Helm, Greaves, and Abracer is uh, what you're going to have. Yeah, that's fine. So, um, the Full Helm gives you six hits of armor. Right. Um, the Greaves give you four hits of armor, two on each arm. Sorry, two on each leg. And your braces give you four hits of armor, two on each arm. So your total armor is 14 at the moment. Now that's not a huge amount. But if you want, you can also have a shield. Now you won't be able to use a shield and a two-handed at the same time. But you could like keep the shield on your back. So if you get like backstabbed or something, then like the shield will probably block, block some damage for you. If you want. I'm just trying to think of a way to make the shield funnier. Hmm. Actually, I know what. It just has like a silly emoticon face painted on the front. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's still a shield, but it's just the end of a giant spoon cut off. Okay. Um, is it cupping you or does it have like... <laughs> is is it like... Is the hollow bit of a spoon on your back or is it like hollow bit facing oh, out? Yeah, no, no, it's on, it's on me. It, I'm being spooned. You're being spooned. I am the spoon. <laughs> okay, um... I'll let that Baby take. Bell Shield! <laughs> a Baby Bell Shield? That's what somebody said. Which one? Wow. A spoon of a Baby Bell? Uh, the Baby Bell wouldn't exist. In the baby... No, no, the spoon makes more sense. Baby Bell could exist! <laughs> no, the, it, it's cheese. It's not going to do much. It's... it's soft. It'll probably like stop the swords and stuff. <laughs> it'll probably be shit, yeah. Yeah, it'll be no, 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 no. I'll just take the hardened spoon. Okay, um, the spoon does uh, takes three hits of damage, but it's six because of yeah, you, and that's only on your unless you get like a one-handed weapon, then you can obviously use it as a shield as well. Okay, so shield. We'll say we just got like a leather strap in there, so you can like six, put down. Six armor hits only on back. Yeah. Okay, so uh, how does this, how do the armor hits work then? Basically, um, when a combat happens. Um, you roll your dice, they roll their dice, the, any uh, remaining amounts go through to the, uh, to the other side, right? Okay. So, basically, it's possible to do a combat without ever losing a piece of health. Sweet. Right? Just as long as you completely overpower your opponents. But... Oh, somebody wanted a large frying pan. Oh. <laughs> that does kind of sound better. I mean, it'll have the exact same stats. Yeah. Okay, switch that. It's a frying pan now. Okay. Um, so basically, um, if say I was to say, Andy, eight damage comes your way. Yep. If your armor completely absorbs that, you completely absorb that. You take, you take no damage. Okay. So I'm assuming it says, right. Okay. This, you're taking eight damage specifically to here. I mean, if, yeah, if I say like you're taking eight damage to the back, then, you know, you can, you can accommodate that other stuff. If I say, um, eight damage specifically to the arm, then it's only that armor. But if I just say it in general to you, I can then pick. it's that no, then it's all the armor. Oh right, okay, so okay, so altogether that's fourteen then. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah so fourteen altogether, but it's good to have the individual ones noted as well. If it's on my bag, then it's twenty. Yeah, nice, nice. Bye, fuzz. Um, so yeah, sorry that we haven't started yet. I did suggest <laughs> we did this before. To I, be fair, I'm... it's only half past. And, uh, yeah, if anything, you... we'd usually be starting now. I'm, I'm, I'm more fast-paced, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got my equipment now. Now what? I think that's we're pretty much ready. Oh, oh, now we just need to calculate your ads. That's it. And your actual overall level, which will right. be level 2 because you've got to start over level 20. Okay, so I'm level 2. Yeah. Okay. Now I, I am level say... 1. I will be associating experience to people during during this adventure, right? And right. um, there will be points where there will be safe spots where you'll be able to um, spend acquired experience. Okay, right, yeah. Now, um, the way that you raise a stat is, for example, if your strength is 9, it's you plus 1 to it, so strength becomes 10. Multiply that by 100, not by 100, by 10. So that becomes 100 experience, and you spend 100 experience to raise that stat. Right. 
Okay, well we can we can we can go over that again when we actually get to it. Yeah, experience can be gained very quickly though. I'm just gonna create a notepad document of this and also a notepad document for combat once it happens. So EXP lying. I won't be telling you about this until you get an opportunity to use them. Right. And and shield will can be effective since the weapons will get stuck and you can disarm the enemy safely. Um, depends on how sharp it is, I think. Yeah, it could just cut through the cheese like it's butter. Yeah. Curdled butter. But the brand new frying pan shield, not only does it save your bacon, it can cook as well. <laughs> okay. So... I think we're kind of almost ready to start. Funny that. All we need to do is calculate your ads. Now this really isn't difficult. Right. So what's what's this then? Um, let me just find it on here. Need to remember. Yeah. So. Next thing that needs to be explained is ads, also called combat ads or personal ads. When a character is fighting, he receives a bonus for having high strength, dexterity, speed, and luck. For each point over 12 in any of these abilities, the character adds one point of ads. For each point under 9, he gets minus 1 ads. So, strength. What's your strength? Uh, 26. Okay, so you're already at a plus 14 on combat ads. Right, How does, so what do I do with that? Just where it says um, where it says ads or where you've put down ads. All right. Put in fourteen for now. That's going to go up. Fourteen. Awesome. Yeah. For what, sorry? Fourteen. Just just put in the number fourteen for okay. now. Yep, yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your dexterity? Uh, eleven. Eleven. So you don't have anything above twelve in that. You don't have anything below nine. So that just doesn't add anything or subtract anything. What's your speed? Eleven. Okay. Nothing again. What's your luck? Seven. Seven. Okay, so minus two from 14 makes right. your combat 12. adds 12. And then plus two from your level because you're a warrior makes that 14 again. <laughs> <laughs> so we already had the answer. Yeah, we did. We did. I just did that to be annoying. <laughs> um, so basically, Andy, that is your character generated. So you have 20, uh, 22 hit points, I think it is. Okay, I should probably put that in. That's your constitution. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, when you take hit points away, you just take it away from your constitution. Okay, I'll still do a thing for that. Yeah, so you could do like 22 out of 22, or you yep. can put your hit points separate if you want. Okay. Um, your combat adds, whenever you do an attack roll, you do whatever you're rolling from your weapon, and then you add that adds amount onto it. Okay, so say I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I went to go to attack someone. It, uh, it'd be like the two d six plus four, and then I add four. And then onto plus eighteen, yeah. So it'd be two d six plus eighteen in total, which is. Oh. Jeez. Okay. Even. Yeah. Okay, hang on. So if it's if it's if it is it always gonna be plus fourteen onto it? Yeah. Okay, so I may as well just put it as plus eighteen now then, I guess. I mean, you you may as well, but it, it well no, it's it's gonna change as you get like different stat increases and stuff, mm. okay. And as you go up level, so it's best keeping it separate. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, I think we well, ready then. <laughs> well, uh, don't know about so funny. This is really funny. Got it. I'm gonna get back. Oh, here we go. Eh. Let me up! Whee! Fly. Fly and float on your butt. <laughs>